Welcome to the video, today I'm going to show you the best way to buy and sell Bitcoin online instantly. So what we're going to be doing is click on the link in the description and it's going to take to this website called Coinbase. Now Coinbase is a website where you can buy and sell Bitcoin instantly from the marketplace. So instead of uh, buying and selling it um, to individual people, which can be a hassle, you have to exchange information. All you're going to be doing is linking a bank account to this website and you're going to buy and sell it instantly. So here it tells you the value of each cryptocurrency, obviously yours being dollars if you're in the US. And if you scroll down, it's going to tell you a bit more about the website, so you can use it on your phone, uh, as insurance and everything. And it's as simple as this, just create an account, link your bank account and start buying and selling. So what we're going to do is go to the top of the website, click on get started, and you're going to create an account. It usually takes about five minutes. Just enter some basic information and they're going to need some sort of ID, so driving license, passport or a photo ID, and you're ready to go. So once you've got your Coinbase account set up, you'll be taken straight to the dashboard and it's really easy to use. So the top section here is going to be a total portfolio value and it's change over time. The second section is going to be the price difference within different cryptocurrencies. And the third section is going to be your recent activity. So that's like your buying and selling activity. And you're also going to have your portfolio with your different wallets here. So as you can see, you've got your cryptocurrency wallet, so your Bitcoin wallet. Uh, I currently have nothing in there at the moment and you're also going to have cash wallets up here as well. So mine's the British pound because I'm from the UK but for you it would be the dollar and as you can see I have £8.16 uh, worth of cash in that wallet. So you obviously want to know how to buy some Bitcoin so in order to do that it's really easy but the first thing we need to do is go ahead and link a payment method to our account otherwise there's no other way of buying Bitcoin. So to do that we want to go to the settings section and then you want to go ahead and click on linked accounts. And then you want to go ahead and click on link a new account. So here it gives you the option whether you want to link a card, whether that be debit or credit card. You can link a Euro bank or your uh, normal bank. You can also link a PayPal account as well. But again, that's only for withdrawals. So that's only for withdrawing cash from your Coinbase account into a PayPal account. Now there are different purchasing and withdrawal fees depending on which one you choose. So you can go ahead and click on learn about your buy and sell fees here. And it's going to give you a full page of the buy and sell fees. Now don't worry, they're really small. So for example here, if it's equivalent to $10 or less, the fee is only going to be 99 cents. So it gives you an idea of how much they charge. So once you've chosen one of these, so for example a bank account, the application process is directly within the website. So it's really easy to set up. So we've got our Coinbase account set up and we've also got a payment methods set up as well. So now it's time to buy some Bitcoin. So to do this, you want to go ahead and click on the buy and sell option here. And then obviously you want to make sure in the buy tab. Now you want to click on this drop down menu here and select the cryptocurrency you want to go ahead and purchase. So it's going to be Bitcoin. And then you want to go ahead and click on this drop down menu and select the payment method we want to use. So you're going to have the bank account or cards that you've just linked up. And it's also going to give you the option of your cash wallet within your Coinbase account. But obviously you're going to be selecting your payment method that you just linked and um, because you're not going to have any funds in your cash wallet unless you've done this before. So then what you want to do is go ahead and click on this box here and type in the total amount you want to spend on Bitcoin. So if I want to spend £10 on Bitcoin, it's going to give you the translation of how much you're going to get here. And then on the right, it's going to give you a summary of what's going to happen next. So I'm going to be spending a total of £10. Coinbase is going to charge me a fee of 99 pence, which we've just looked at. So I'm going to be buying a total value of £9 and one pence worth of Bitcoin. Again, you can always look at the fees by clicking on this link here. And it's going to take to the same page and you can go ahead and read all the fees here. And don't worry, it's really easy to understand and the really low fees. So once we're ready to make the purchase, you just want to go ahead and click on buy Bitcoin instantly. And it's going to deposit the Bitcoin right into your Bitcoin wallet on Coinbase. So if you want to go ahead and sell the Bitcoin, obviously you just click on the sell tab. And then you want to go ahead and select the currency you want to sell. So you're going to sell the Bitcoin. And then you want to go ahead and click on the wallet that you want to deposit the cash into. So it's going to be our Bitcoin cash wallet. So you just want to click on this box here and type in the amount you want to sell. So let's say you want to sell £10 for example. Again, I don't have anything in wallet so it's not coming up. It's going to give you the amount of Bitcoin that translates into. And then it's going to do the same thing, so give you a small fee and then tell you the total payout and then go ahead and click on sell Bitcoin instantly. So that's how we buy and sell Bitcoin, but what if I want to send or receive it to other people? So again, that's really easy. All we need to do is go ahead and click on our account tab at the top here. 
and it's going to give you a list of the different wallets we have in our Coinbase account. So if it's Bitcoin we want to transfer, we just need to go ahead and click on our Bitcoin wallet and it's going to give you a list of transactions in this right box here of what you've transferred. So if you want people to send Bitcoin to you, all you need to do is click on this receive button, click on I understand and then you want to give them this Bitcoin wallet address. Now you just want to click on this box here to copy it because you want to make sure this is absolutely correct otherwise you won't receive the funds. And that's it. So if you want to send the Bitcoin, all you need to do is click on send and then you just want to fill out an application process. Um, so it's going to be the same thing really. Um, type in their Bitcoin wallet address, um, type in the amount you want to send and then you can also send a note with it as well. So if you want to go ahead and withdraw the cash from your Coinbase account, all you need to do is go ahead and click on withdraw. And it's going to give you a list of options here, but for me I don't because I don't have a verified bank account at the moment because I've changed it. Um, but you can choose to either withdraw it from your PayPal or you can withdraw it to a bank account. Again, there might be a small fee, um, but it's going to go through pretty quickly and it's really simple to do. And that's the basics of Coinbase and that's all there is really to it. So as you can see, it's really easy to understand and the website is really reliable. So again, if you are interested in buying and selling Bitcoin, it fluctuates all the time so you can make a lot of money with this stuff. Go ahead and click on the link below and sign up for a Coinbase account. Again, you can always get the application once you've signed up to your account, so you don't have to be on a computer to do this, you can be on your mobile phone or your tablet. So, if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass it on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.